Shit. I'm like, let me try and make some shit in this range too. Mm -hmm. It was cool though. Nigga, this but shit. it's just dope. It shows your because you're hella good at this stuff too. It's like you're phenomenal at rapping, and then this too is like, damn. And this was like, <laughs> I was, I feel like, you know, like all artists dabble, but I, I feel like I'm really good at these songs. Like since the Tessie shit, you know, mm -hmm. but I never really displayed these publicly. I barely ever seen on record at this capacity so I feel like it's just gonna open a, a new network. I had looked at um I was looking at data and like my data said like I'm looking at all the artists who, who made it and like the bigger indies and my shit was like eighty percent men, twenty percent women and I was yeah, like yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. song no. I need <laughs> no, I need some more and these songs. And and I remember thinking that I said that to you a while ago like like not like a love song, but like a song, something for the, le you know, because you have a lot of women love you, like, you have a fan base, you know right? what I'm saying? But, but it'd be the music women that love him. Our music, <laughs> and I, I've said it before too, and like, we're in the studio, sometimes it'd be like, we're hooping. It'd be like a masculine, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I get in the studio with a bunch of girls, and I'd be like, bringing that energy, and it's not the same. They're like, delicate and shit. I'm like, nah, we ain't here, like, like, hey. we lifting weights. This one? <laughs> This is gonna be your favorite joint. You already know. I treat you when you're not on top. I can't lie, the money changed me, I knew it would. I'm living good, still in the hood. I free my niggas if I could. It's on my hands, couldn't imagine seeking freedom from another man. That's the fucking yeah. record. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> Bruh, that's the fucking record. Friday on that remix. Ooh, that'll go crazy. It feel like pop, old, yeah. yeah, nigga. Yeah, that's one of them for sure. I forgot what the fuck happened. But something happened, nigga. I end up, I was up at like 12 a.m. one night because I was just like frustrated, and I was like, nigga, I'm gonna go on YouTube like I used to, which is be in the bedroom, and I had found that caught up in my head. That was the first beat I found. I wrote that song. Bro, that song, I didn't even write the song. That was the first song I ever just recorded. Had the Straight whole shit. in your head, bro. Nigga. And after that, nigga, I hit like, G, I was like, come over. I, we was up. The sun came back up. A nigga was just in here. The door opened. The sun came back up just going. Bro, have you ever watched Fade to Black? The document, the Jay-Z documentary? I don't remember. The one Is that the one? Re he's recording Black Album. Yeah, with Rick Rubin and shit. Yeah, I've seen pieces of it. Yeah, bro, the shit you did with the Snoop thing, bro, it, you be doing little shit that be so. But I know you're not doing it on purpose, but it's just y'all are so fucking mm. similar. When he's recording the Rick Rubin song and he's like, "I'm gonna leave holes in it, so don't nah, stop nah, me." Nah, probably yeah. That was you on the Snoop shit, bro. Like, <laughs> and then when I show Splash that shit, we we're in Seattle. I'm like, "Who that reminds you of?" He's like, "You just like him." <laughs> <laughs> Right. That should be creepy right. sometimes, bro. You do some shit that be so much like hold in your own way. I'm like, that shit is crazy. The niggas, uh, they just, um, damn, what was it? They just sent an email for, um, damn. What was it? Pigeons and planes? Not pigeons and planes. What's the shit? Um, Jay Z shit. They got the fucking mail. It's like a, a letter with the, it's the clothing brand. Paper planes? The, I know you're talking. 
But it's but it's just the it's just the rock nature, isn't it? Just rock nature. Shit? Yeah, but it's a it's like it, they call it some, but they hold line. He all going to has and shit. They have reached out because they wanted to do uh, something and together. It was like, hey, you familiar with this? And I see shit. I was like, I ain't doing that shit until right. hold called me. Right. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing. Man, it's gonna happen. Y'all, y'all are gonna have your time. And it's gonna sure. be a great, a great moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be just like the Snoop shit. I can see that one having like a TikTok moment. Where they take like a little clip off the rap song shit and just. I've yet to hear a country song that make me feel like. That was big. <laughs> and it's like got the 808s in it. Nigga, but it's music not the 808s in it now. Now, yeah. right? But it still be lacking like culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what's cool is it feel like this project, it feels new, but it still is you. Like you didn't mm. sell out. You know what I'm saying? It just is like you just experimenting, but it's still like very much a La Russell Man. project. It's like nigga doing country. Talking about, I'm trying to make it the money in the holes. I tell you, you feel me? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, that shit's gonna be crazy, it's bro. Like, you just remember about whiskey and, and fucking. <laughs> when the negative comments come, just remember it's only because it's new, and it's just because it's new. It's is people are gonna like not understand um, it at first. I was to some shit yesterday. The nigga was like, you "Just go back to rapping." It's only- and it just sent me, and we had to go on a hike, because I was just like, man, man. <laughs> I had to remember, like, bro, you are you in the stands, you know? You can't gauge a nigga. Sometimes you on the court, you hit some shit, and a nigga don't get. <laughs> For sure. Oh, until they see the replay. Like, when you're watching boxing, you don't even see the punch until you see the replay, right? And then you're like, damn, that, that was, was crazy. crazy. <laughs> right, and so it's like, I think when... Because it will come with this project, but you just have to remind yourself it's only because it's new. And I'm reaching a new audience, so that's when those like weird trolling comments come in. Is like, I'm reaching a new audience. This shit is new to people. And just yeah. remind yourself that through the process, too. Because it is, cause it's going to reach a new... You're going to reach new fans. People that have never been... Alone. And then some people are going to be like, feel a certain way. But that's also like, good art makes people... This or that way too, you it's know. Everybody, right? If you have something, to, and if that's where I landed yesterday. I was like, man, you know, the beauty is the algorithm doesn't know negative or positive. Right. If you get, if you post something and there's a thousand negative comments, the algorithm like they talking about it. this one. Yeah. So it's like I used to block the niggas and remove them, but it's like it's Bro. just helping me move the change. It's unfortunate, and then like the negativity damn near moves shit quicker than positive. If Drake and Kendrick did a song, that shit would not have been as big as them beefing. Hell no. You feel me? <laughs> and they made millions off of them beefing. Right. The song would have made a million or two, or, you know, some millions, but right. not like it did with them beefing. That's just sad. This it's a sad truth. Negativity runs the world, unfortunately. I swear I had the accessory section on there. Yeah, it just got to be tabbed a bit better. Okay. Yeah. So accessory tab then. Yeah. Forty-one. Mm, no, a book to me a book isn't a, a, an accessory. Like 
when I think accessories, I think earrings, rings, chain, shit like that. I don't think book, so it gotta it gotta be separate. I can do that. I just put it as everything not clothing accessories. Book. Just put books. <laughs> yeah. And all the like socks is like an accessory, but yeah, not not a book. Yeah. What do you want it on the music side? When people go to the music side that all of your I mean you could throw it in there too, but just give it its own Yep. Cause it it'll be easy when people going in there trying to find it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, I'll be down here. Yep. Let's go. What you want? I'm about to go beat this a horse. I got uh, my defense <laughs> earlier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm finna go on the run. Yes, sir. <laughs> Probably not. All right, what? <laughs> <laughs> my bad, too. My guy forgot about me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> So are, are they mainly YouTube? All of them is Wonder, That's except um that one is Troy Taylor, and then Troy Taylor got another one on there. The uh, I need some love when so I come home. So he had the shit, bro. That nigga had the shit. I hit him and he was like juice. It was like it was up there sitting on bro. You this too. random nigga was caught up in my head. After I hit him, he like man, I sold the rights to this other guy, so I'm like I gotta reach out to this nigga. I hit him. Bruh, he was like, I just bought the beat because I was just at home and I just really liked it. Like, you could have it. So Whatever you want to give me. I was like, bro. nigga, it all just lined up. That's but yeah, crazy. he just had that. Because his product, it's like the songwriting and the production hand in hand. Like It don't sound like shit else. Yeah, and like you wouldn't be able to write that shit if the production wasn't. Fuck no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like the production lent to those songs too. Like, bro, and that's it was like. like he had enough of them for me to like continue on that spirit. Like when I found caught up in my head, I just went diving through his page because I'm like, man, I just need seven, you oh, know, these, that got yeah. this feeling. I was up all night recording voice notes, <laughs> <That's tight. laughs> everything, bro. Like it, it was really. That's dope. That's dope that you're not like too good to just go back to the, the, the tube. You feel me? Like I had to. I had to because it was like. I've done so many songs with everybody around me that it's yeah. just like I, I miss the days when I was just a little nigga and I could just search up something and find some find shit that was like, shit. ah, yeah. you know? Man. That's, why, that's why, like, that shit is, that community is so tight. Like, we didn't have that when we first started rapping. Like, it wasn't yeah, beats no. like that at all, <laughs> you know? Like, and now you, you can go find f- any fucking thing and the beats oh. be tight as fuck. Any kind. YouTube producers be hard. Bro. And you just got to cop leases. It's like if you don't even want to do all the business and administrative oh, side, God, it's bro. like you, bruh. Oh, God. It's a different And it, it just reminded me of being like where I started and just having the freedom to, like you say, go look up anything and find yeah. something. And it's just like. Go, mm-hmm. like it really put me back in that space that I ain't got the access in so long. Yeah, I'm excited to, to like put this shit in the world. People already been receiving the first one really well. And they don't even know that all oh, this shit in there. You feel me? So, and that's what I think that's what you get from not putting yourself in a box, and being like, and because it's like you're you have a a group of producers you work with, and it's like. All right, I have them, but I'm gonna do this too. You know what I'm saying? Like where you just continue to experiment, and I think that's just. <laughs> and I can always pull. It's like I've gotten all of my niggas fifty plus, sixty plus splits and play. You know, so it's yeah. like everybody is 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 allocated. I could go pull from a nigga every now and then. And it's like let me see. Yeah. You feel me? Like it, it's a beast, especially because I don't want like like I was telling my G because he was playing me a few, and I'm like nigga, I've done that. I've done that, I've done that, you feel me? And I don't want a nigga to like feel like they not moving at a pace that I'm moving. It's like you don't even make this kind of shit like yeah. these <laughs> you know, everybody yeah. don't make shit like this. And this I think so- that's okay too. You go to a certain you know what I'm saying? Like, a certain when sound. You, Tim, you go to Tim. Like that's how it used to be. Like you wanted that Timberland shit. 
You wanted to, you went to Tim. Probably. You wanted Pharrell. You went to Pharrell. Like, and it was just like, what are the odds? Like I was, um, I was telling myself like after the pain tour, I was like, man, I really want to write songs that I used to hear my parents listening to when I wake up and my mama cleaning and shit, like shit that just feel like that. And there's a, a couple of them on there for sure. There's like three or four at least that are like, the right. clean this house on yes. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> right? right? Not this song! Right? <laughs> oh, I gotta clean! Man, I, nah, I, bro, I, that's dope, bro. I'm, uh, I'm proud of you. This is a, a really dope project. Journey. And it's like you went, you've been you went so heavy into the they sound that like you pit you know what I'm saying? Nigga. You could have easily just been do that for the rest of your life and it's like you And you know, it. when I started like I didn't even realize how many blacks I was making because I went so long without making them that it was like once I got in that hole, which is like I started looking, I'm like, nah, this I've had album after album of that shit. Yeah. After not doing it for so long, I was just like I needed to get out of that box for a bit. And mm -hmm. you know, I love our region and our sound, but that's what happens to artists. Like, yeah. they go in that box and they never leave because it's an easy win. No. And those songs, it's like, you know, I love when I see the kids at grinding. Yeah. Like, but and it's you like, give it to them. They're, they're out. You know, they you give know, it to them. Man, it don't make me, like, elevate my pen because I start realizing mm -hmm. I write those songs in three minutes. Easy, it's like, yeah. they just come too easy. And that's what it was. It was, I start feeling like, you know, you see comments and niggas like, oh, this sound like the, this sound like, and it's like, mm -hmm. even though I feel like, even when I do bay music, I do it in a way that the niggas way. ain't never yeah. touched it, but you know. Just a new way, yeah, for sure. But it's not, it's just dope. You just continue to like, want more for your own artistic vision, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Catalog too, bro. And like you gave them, they have them. They have like, bro, they have the people probably. They have enough. They have the GTV, <laughs> they have Link Up. Like they Motion, have, now it's right. like, now it's like you can give them something else for the other people that want mm -hmm. this. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, Damn, it's just dope that you, for your catalog is insane. And it just keeps getting better and better. For sure. Man, I want to do Afro beats next. You yeah. know, it's like, I want to tackle that in my life. I really told myself I'm going to get back to Cause when I when I was like early on, that was like my goal to I try to make a different a sounding yeah. album every album. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you know, after you do so many, it's like you can't completely maintain that. But I'm always trying to get back in that space. And like, man, I need I need to make some fresh shit, some new shit. Yeah. Do you feel like how how do you do you feel like you're over me and Tion's album? Hell no. Nah. You still want to do it? Yes, me and Flav was just talking about that shit. Like, proud, it's the records are too good. Yeah. Nah, that motherfucker's still coming. I just wasn't. I was like, man, I was just getting nervous because I know how. I just know how it is. I'm like, I hope he's not over this record. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still coming. It's still sure. coming. That's what's up. That's what I'm <laughs> just like, man. No, I, them I them just hope you drop it. Now that I sleep, I need you to. No, you some shit. Yeah. Every time I play it's that some song shit on there. for that, I, every time I play uh, that song, people are like. It's some oh, shit on there, bro. Oh God, hey, bro. No, that, that's coming. The song about no your worries. parents and shit. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. Bro, I, I can't really, even lie, bro. Uh, I really like... Bro, I see the map, and I was telling, like, Splash, and then, like, this shit... Because him makers, like, you know... You know how they be wanting in windows. Like, you drop an album, yeah. and it's like, let's just wait and roll it. But I'm just like, if this open the door how it's supposed to... <clears throat> Hit him with that right you know it's like I want to get that shit but I just I want to broaden it to where it's like the bass sound is is the world sound but the world don't get to hear it until you open the door for them to accept something else you feel me uh-huh for sure for sure I, mean, yeah, I, think it's, I think it's dope too that you like you got this infrastructure in the moments like now you have like the snoop the Juvie, like you got the moments too where the infrastructure is matching. It's like, all right, go take, go send this bitch to Mars. Nah, bro, I, I finally, I feel like I got all the ability when when we get one to send. Like I feel so much more comfortable now when we get moments when we release music. Like when that shit drop and it go, it's like. Okay, now I can look. I got a seed in that work. Yeah. I know how to run. It's just like tools that a nigga had to accumulate. And after they bust this one open, mm -hmm. man, we've been making so much dope for so long. When niggas get to go 
back <laughs> and they're going to go back. <laughs> you feel me? They're going to go. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful thing. And, and when we keep dropping new shit, like the new shit that nigga got, yeah. that, bro. Yeah. No, yeah, for sure. It's, it's, bro, and I think, I just feel like, it, again, easier, you know, from the outside looking and say it all, but like, I feel like shit is just lining up the way it needs to be. And I feel like, bro, you're universally blessed by how much like you've done good for other people and all that stuff and the work you put in, like all those things, bro. I just feel like the stars are going to keep aligning and you just keep doing what you, exactly what the fuck you're doing, bro. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And just keep trying to get, but keep trying to get, keep, you know what I'm saying? Pushing, pushing, but like, bro. Bar. And it's gonna, bro, it's just like, it's, I've watched it even just from like, to be honest, even just from like, not being a part of it in the last few months and like, watching it, I'm like, bro, this shit is just like, growing so fucking crazy, bro. And I feel like all you have to do is just continue to be yourself and like, continue to run the race you're running, bro. And everything you want is gonna, is on the way. You know what I'm saying? The hits. The everything, you know what I'm saying? All that shit you want, bro, is like, it's coming your way. And like, there's no way it can't from like, bro, even from like, what I've like, seen. Nigga, you know, if, it like, like, if it don't, it's just like, it doesn't make sense. It don't sense. make sense. And like, bro, just from what I've seen from like, like, Tierra, just from like, from what I've entered, you know, like, bro, you know hella crazy? I got a message today from the team, and they was like, you know, they fit the Spotify and shit, and she was like, Spotify, uh, wasn't really rocking with us. It was kind of weird because you know we usually have we're raving, but it was like weird, and I just it just made me think like, mm. <laughs> you know, like, like is, something is, behind. It, is it starting? Like you know, I it, still something still feels weird about when all those streams got taken away. Like who? What was that, bro? And now it's like, oh, they're not. They didn't accept our pitch. It was like. Mm, that's interesting. I still be just scratching my head about that. Like, what was that exactly? Because it was on a project like the Cardi. Like, we never pushed Cardi A Santos, but that song streamed like a really there good amount. There was a couple on that project that was like, we didn't do content or nothing. It was just like weird as fuck. And I, I feel like a nigga was trying to get my account banned. Like, when yeah, I got the message and up. it was, like, the artificial streams, I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? Like, yeah. I felt like a nigga was trying to get my account taken down and banned, and that shit was just hella interesting. And it sucked because anybody could do that to anybody. Like, you know, yeah. to, to buy fake streams for a song, all you need is the link to the song. Like, that up. shit just had me like, bro, that, that shit just weird. Yeah. But you are because it's like famous. this music business, so they're trying to protect the shit they have, bro. And you're a, you are a disruptor, a hundred percent. Badly, badly, like, bro. Like, they, even with like even and shit, you know the labels are watching all that shit and just literally watching the money that comes out of their own pocket. Bro, you know they they saying? all what's crazy is like they all bought in now. Yeah, right. to even. Yeah. All the labels are on the investment cable. Cole is on the cap table. Wow. Cole, J. Cole about to release a podcast. Wow. That's crazy. All of these niggas on the cap table. Nobody holler at me, though. You know, it's like everybody watch so big shot. Everybody watching use the infrastructure, but niggas don't tap in and be like, oh yeah, you know, we thank you for this. It's like, hmm. It's so weird, bro. Even with the like the clip of like the cold thing of being like cold told me, like I still be scratching my head about yeah. that. Like why? And wouldn't the you? whole shit is like for them to send me the paper plane shit, and then for them to send me the Made in America offer and all. It's like I just shit like that. Just for me, it's just like you, bro. Come on, <laughs> like come on. What what we doing? Is is intriguing? It's almost like they kind of playing with a nigga to see see what you'll t if you'll take bite on one of them or something. It's, it's interesting, bro. It's, it's I, I'm excited to see it more bro. now with this hit maker shit because it's like um, even already like I seen the nigga because 10k projects just um did an acquisition of hit maker mm -hmm. 
and Tim K just got acquired by Atlanta because yeah. Elliot Graves moved up. And I seen a post, a nigga immediately, oh, the Russell signed to Tim K, and I'm like, no. <laughs> it's like, it's just interesting. That little it's, Atlantic chef was interesting. They said they fired they Julie Greenwald. Everybody. Yeah. And Craig. But it happened at Def Jam. Yeah. Tunji gone. Every, like, they got everybody, and everywhere. You, <laughs> yeah, that should be that should be so interesting. It's just game though. That's why I just like you know, man. I'm I'm happy I'm finding the networks and the people now to where I can stay detached. Yeah, and, and just keep building like the DSP shit, fucking with Venice over there, like Troy Carter really, and that that might be why Spotify is, is put on what they're doing because we just as a hit maker instead of Troy. But I'm gonna call mm-hmm. him and send that shit because it's just like. They like to play the games. Yeah. The relationship shit. Protect their relationship. Mm-hmm. And Troy's Troy's an OG. Mm-hmm. And tied in over there specifically with Spotify. Yeah, and that's that shit. And I get it. Yeah. But it's like, I, I have them on payroll to do what they do. It's like, you feel me? <coughs> yeah. The journey. Oh, God, bro. It's crazy. Man.